This lighting is so strange. I, I look, my eyes, do I look high? I don't know. Hello, uh, how's it going? I'm Lewis Turner. I'm back again. It's been a very, very long time since you've last seen me, I suppose, to a um, face to face video. A lot's gone on. And this video in particular, I wanted to make about a very, very specific topic, and that is drama schools. So yeah, in this video, I wanted to talk about uh, drama schools and my drama school journey, because as I said in my first video, you guys all know this, it's all I post about, is that I'm an actor. And the past year, I've been preparing, auditioning for drama schools. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about that. The process of what made me want to start applying to drama schools, how I researched it, where I applied, what the audition process was like, and did I get in anywhere? Ooh, who, who knows? Some of you may know. Before we do that though, subscribe, you know? No one seems to be subscribing, no one seems to be watching any of my videos. Maybe, maybe help me out a bit, you know? Help me reach a larger platform, that'd be cool. The first place where I should start should be, why did I want to become an actor in the first place? I started acting very, very early on. I was around six years old. I would always uh, put on these little plays, these like little productions, I suppose, in my living room with my cousin and my sister. My older sister said, do you want to come to my stage school, I suppose? Not too long, I only went there until I was about nine, ten but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I abandoned it and I didn't revisit acting again properly until about three-ish years later. I'm a huge James Bond fan. James Bond is one of my favorite franchises ever. It might be my favorite entirely, to be honest. And I went to this theater to watch Roger Moore. Roger Moore was at this theatre doing like a Q&A interview thing. And at this uh, Q&A, he was selling his book, this book called Bond on Bond. One second, I actually have it. This is the book here, uh, Bond on Bond. Uh, I got this from the q and It's a very, very, very good book. I loved it. Actually, there's, there should be an autograph. What can you do, eh? And I still have my tickets. Nice. Anyway. In this book, Roger Moore says that he trained at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. As soon as I heard those words, I thought to myself, wow. Wow. Drama school, I didn't know that was a thing. And it really perked my interest in the drama school. And then once again, abandoned, until I decided to do GCSE drama, a really dodgy course. So I decided to study acting at college. I went to the Miskin Theatre in Dartford, absolutely adored it, made a few films, maybe you'll see some eventually. And it was on this course where I then started to apply for drama schools. We're now getting to the drama school bit. That was a very, very, very long setup. I started looking into drama schools April of 2020. So last year, just as we went into lockdown, me and my girlfriend were in lockdown together and we decided that we were going to start researching drama schools together and we researched the federation of drama schools if you're looking to uh start looking into drama schools look into the federation of drama schools it's not every single drama school but it is the uh top drama schools and the most acclaimed drama schools it's like this, this big union and they form together sort of like the avengers the justice league you know it's like the best, not 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 all of the best, but some of the best drama schools altogether. Uh, look into the Federation of Drama Schools; it's quite wholesome. Uh, there was about twenty. I'm not sure if there's twenty anymore because I think one was taken off. There might be about nineteen now. Figured out what my favourite ones were, started to research them, then applied. I wanted to apply as soon as the applications were open, and that was about September October. But I didn't actually apply until end of October, beginning of November time. Now, when you audition for drama schools, each drama school is a little bit different with the application and the audition process. Most drama schools, you do a, a contemporary monologue and a classical monologue. And for my classical, I decided to do Hamlet from Hamlet and Iago from Othello. Uh, those, were, those were two classicals that were interchangeable with me and the ones that I used. My contemporary monologue was Sam 
from Precious Little Talent by Ella Hicks. Now, like I said, uh, each drama school has a different process. For example, RADA, you actually do two classical monologues and a, and a contemporary monologue. Whereas um, other places like East 15, you will do a one classical and one contemporary. Uh, another place I applied to called LMA, you only do one monologue. And the monologue I did for that was from Doctor Who. Also, here's a little compilation of some of my some of my self tapes that I sent off for drama school. Enjoy. Cassio loves her, I do well believe it. As she loves him, tis apt and of great credit. Is it not monstrous that this player here, but in a fiction, in a dream of passion, should force his soul so to his own conceit? When you've got it exactly the way you want it. What are you gonna do with the people like you? Hey? The troublemakers. How are you gonna stop your glorious revolution from the next one? I have heard that guilty creatures sitting at a play have by the very cunning of the scene been struck so to the soul that presently they have proclaimed their malfactions. You'll win. Will you? Maybe. Maybe you will win. Nobody wins for long, though. Hey. What's your name? <laughs> no shit, mine too. No, it's, uh, it's Sam, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. Bloody, bawdy, you villain, remorseless, <laughs> treacherous, lecherous, kindness, villain, oh, vengeance, why? What an ass am I, this is most brave. You have no idea who's gonna die. How many children are gonna scream and burn? You sound funny. She says all like that, all, oh, I'm American, like that. So, you're up here for um, a little air? Then you're just gonna have to do what you're always gonna have to do from the beginning, you know? Sit down and talk. And do you know what I did? Right then, right in the middle of Grand Central Station, I pulled her right around and I kissed her. Real hard. I just want you to think. Do you know what thinking is? It's a fancy word for changing your mind. It's always the same when you screaming, kids. Look at me, I'm unforgivable. That partly led to diet my revenge, for that I do suspect the lusty moor has leaped into my seat. The thought were of dust like a poisonous mineral, nor my innards. And nothing can or shall content my soul till I'm evened with him. Wife for wife. Here's the thing. I forgive you. After all you've done, I still forgive you. So yeah, that was that was um some of some of my auditions, you know. Some of them were better than others. Some were I believe to be downright terrible. <laughs> With drama school, it doesn't matter how good you are, sometimes you're just going to get rejected. Sometimes you won't get a second audition. Sometimes you just won't get anything at all. Nine out of 10 people don't actually know how hard it actually is to get into drama school. You know, the statistics are horrific, you know? And um, when you have, say for the biggest drama school in England, RADA, upwards of three to 5,000 people auditioning every single year and only 20 plus get in, at that point, it's harder to get into RADA than it is to get into Ox Oxford or Cambridge, you know. People just think it's something you can walk through. It's not. It's really difficult, you know. So, don't... Don't laugh at theatre kids, you know, they're really trying. And it can be very soul-shattering, and it can make you feel really sad. But, at the end of the day, it might just be, each drama school look for different things. Drama schools are trying to build a company. They're trying to build a, a group of around 18, sometimes to 30 people, of uh, whom are unique. They're different. So, you know, you're not gonna have, to take me for example, six foot one, white, black hair at the minute. You're not gonna have five, six foot one, white guys with black hair, you know, because then you're not building a variety. You're not building a cohort or a company. You're just 
you're just creating a casting bracket. And at that point, you've got no variety, you've got no uh, sense of uniqueness, then everything just sort of folds into one mold, you know? So, the reason why you might have been rejected uh, is because there were too many people like you or they already had somebody who was exactly like you. That's just the name of the game, unfortunately. The drama schools that I decided to apply to were RADA, Lambda, Arts Ed, East 15, LMA, the Oxford School of Drama. Where else did I apply? The Miskin Theatre on the level four course. The University of Chichester. I think I applied to more, I just can't remember at this current point. All of my notes are on my phone and I'm not sure if I wanna, you know, um, unrecord the video. Those are all the schools I applied to. In total, I think I applied to about eight, nine, 10, potentially even more schools. So I got recalled for Guildhall, East 15, Oxford, Chichester, LMA, GSA. I think that was everywhere I got recalled for. And the recall process for me was quite strange because at every single one of these schools, I auditioned for BA acting, but I got recalled for the foundation courses. You know, I didn't initially want to do a foundation course. I didn't just want to go for one year and then have to audition again the following year. And I wasn't sure if that would was something that I really wanted to do. But Oxford was my first recall that I had and it went incredibly well. I was so, so, so happy with it. It was a strange recall. They made me do this. <laughs> but aside from that, and I got good vibes and I loved the school. Oxford was a school that I really, really, really wanted to get into. And then this happened. Listen, I'll cut to the chase. You might have received an email or it might not have arrived yet. But basically, uh, one of the perks of my job is I get to ring people with some good news. And the good news is that we'd be delighted to offer you a place on our foundation course. Yeah, I got into the Oxford School of Drama on the foundation course. I was like, yes, this is it. I ran, I ran downstairs, I, I said to my mum, mum, guess I'm going to Oxford. You know, it, in my head it was a done deal until I looked it up on the internet and there wasn't government funding and I'd have had to pay for it myself. So I started to go fund me, couldn't raise enough funds, and then had to turn down the Oxford School of Drama. Ah, that really annoyed me, it really upset me, but I was like, who knows? Maybe it's a sign that I'm gonna go somewhere else. I then got my recall for Guildhall. And I was very, very happy about this because Guildhall was a school that I loved. Daniel Craig went there. I love Daniel Craig. Of course I want to go to the same school as Daniel bloody Craig. And then my recall happened. Question is, did I get in? I got rejected. Did not get in. But where did I get into? I got into the University of Chichester. Bada bow. I got into LMA. Bada bow. Where else did I get into? I got in to East 15. I got into East 15 on the foundation course, a course that is government funded. I'm gonna be moving out there in a month or whatever. How crazy is that? I'm moving to South End. Chavland, I know, but I'm going to drama school. I didn't get into RADA like, like Roger Moore kind of told me I would when I was 13, but I don't give a damn. I'm going to drama school. I feel like I've left out so much in this video. I feel like I don't, I haven't said anything. That is really it, I suppose. That's my drama school journey so far. Applied to a lot of schools, got rejected from a ton of places, got a few recalls, of which I'm very proud of. Did I achieve what I set out to achieve a year ago? No. Did I achieve something potentially better? I think I did. Ladies and gentlemen, and however else you identify, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Do people share videos? Serious question, do they? But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.